How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizzo here. AMD has made a very exciting announcement at CS 2023, and they spoke about Zen 4's 3D architecture and how it's gonna be released very soon. There's a theory that I have, the reason why they announced it so soon, and it's probably one you could probably guess. As I thought it over, the reason why AMD had announced their processor so soon for their 3D architecture, and the reason why it's not coming out in 2024, and they decided to push it to 2023, there's two reasons why. They saw the competition for Intel was starting to get pretty serious, especially for the 13900KS, that is going to be released soon and AMD wanted to quickly put an end to that by releasing their X3D processors that will be released within this year. And the second reason AMD's Zen 4 didn't sell so hot, the prices were pretty high, especially for what the processors offered. It seemed to be a bit out of character for AMD and they quickly realized that. And so instead they wanted to push out the 3D architecture for Zen 4. And the reason why AMD's 3D chipsets are so popular is the way the SD RAM is vertically stacked on top of the L1 and L2, L3 cache to give it much more better performance when it comes to gaming. They haven't quite announced the prices, but I will go over that shortly as well. But they didn't announce three of the 3D processors that they do plan to release of this year. It's going to be the 7950X3D, the 7900X3D, and also the 7800X3D. The 7950X3D will contain 16 cores and up to 32 threads as a standard clock of 4.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 5.7 gigahertz. L1 cache is at one megabyte, L2 cache is about 16 megabytes, and L3 cache will be at 128 megabytes. It, the TDP, the max TDP for this processor is only gonna be 120 watts, so not only is it more efficient, this will completely differ over their 7950X standard model, which was a L1 cache of one megabyte and 16 megabytes for L2 cache, and L3 cache had 64 megabytes. The cores remain the same and same as the threads, which is 16 cores and 32 threads. And the max TDP for their standard 7950X was 170 watts. So they also promised a big change between these processors, which I will say soon. But let me just finish going over these specifications real quick so you can get an idea what all these processors offer. The 7900X3D was also announced, which is 12 cores and 24 threads, has a L1 cache of 768 kilobytes. The L2 cache is at 12 megabytes and L3 cache is at 128 megabytes. The max TDP for it is 120 watts versus the standard model, which is a 4.7 gigahertz standard frequency and a boost clock of 5.7 gigahertz. It also contained 768 kilobytes for L1 cache, 12 megabytes for L2 cache, and 64 megabytes for L3 cache, max TDP of 170 watts. The 7800X3D, which is its entity of its own, which is definitely a great product for anyone who is looking to enter the series and will be the more affordable option AMD needs to do if they want to really crank up their competition more seriously, because the biggest problem that we had for 2022 was the pricing was pretty expensive and getting ridiculous. And hopefully by 2023, it kind of cools down slightly. We probably will still see high prices overall. But to get to the point, the 7800X3D will contain eight cores and 16 threads. It will also have a standard boost, a standard frequency of four gigahertz and a boost clock of up to five gigahertz. It has an L1 cache of 512 kilobytes, L2 cache of eight megabytes, and L3 cache up to 96 megabytes with a top TDB of 120 watts. You can notice the big difference between the standard processors over the 3D variants, which makes a large difference, especially when it comes to gaming creative applications. 
So some of you might be asking, how will it do in standard applications, such as browsing, or if you're using some sort of Microsoft Office product. AMD did give an answer to that, and they promised that you will see a much larger improvement compared to its predecessor, such as the 5800X3D or the 5950X3D. You will notice much more of a performance increase and it will feel a lot more fluid when you're using those standard applications. AMD also promised it can also beat their 7-zip up to 52%, and it can have as much as an increase for gaming applications up to 25%. On top of that, encryption will be improved by about 3-4%. to 4 For creative applications such as Pudget Bench on Adobe products, you'll see an improvement of up to 16%. When will these processors be released, and how soon can we expect to see it out in the market? probably by the end of February 2023. I don't expect it to be right out in the middle of February. It's probably gonna be similar, such as the Zen 4 processors, how they released it towards the end of the month, and more than likely it will be the same way when it comes to the 3D variants for their Zen 4 processors. How much of an improvement are we gonna see over their standard processors? And that's a good question. That's something that we still have to bench and really see for ourselves compared to what AMD's marketing team had to say about it. But I'm looking forward to test it and seeing exactly how much more of an improvement we can see throughout all applications such as creative and gaming applications. Even though the 7950X was already a beast as it is, it's gonna not only be much better when it comes to efficiency, it will also be better handling mostly every application that it has. I still believe the theory as it holds, I think AMD will price these out more fairly compared to the 7950X. With the 7950X, they priced that originally at $699.99 USD. More than likely, we'll probably see more of a approved price where it should be around between $599.99 USD to $649.99 USD. If you notice when the picture down in the more tiny font you can see that these are the prices listed for the us but yet they didn't really list out the prices because i think that is something that they're still debating and they realized that they can't price out these processors for such a high price otherwise it's going to be tough to stay king especially up against intel with the much better pricing. Whoever thought in this world we would see AMD be much more expensive than Intel. I can't wait for AMD's processor to be released. Whoever has a X670E board or a B650 probably can't wait to get their hands on it. Many of you who did purchase the Zen 4 processors of last year, you just got ripped off. But unfortunately, that's one of the problems when the newest tech does arrive. You're gonna pay a premium for it, and that's something to be expected. But who would have known that AMD would announce AMD's 3D processors within five months? Again, I still stand on my theory. I still think AMD realized they can't charge so much for the processors, especially that they're supposed to be competition against Intel. So fam fam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if not part of the big one of fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. For all the newest updates, make sure to follow my TikTok right here as it is the same as my Twitter and IG as well. So fan band, guys, what do you think of AMD's new 3D architecture for Zen 4? Are you excited for it? Are you planning to purchase a AMD board now? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Musa signing out.